Hello and welcome back to the next episode in our Let's Play series, our conventional style Let's Play series. Um, so a few things I have to go over really, really quickly. Um, unfortunately, I had some issues with the save um, and I had to redo the progress. Um, everything's pretty much the same. There are a few key differences. First off, system generation's a little different. So if we go to our galaxy map, I've got six systems to go with here because they did it a bit quicker. I have four survey ships still. I'll go over each of the systems and what they are. Um, and also, there are no terraformers or fuel harvesters just, just yet, as they haven't been produced. Um, and towed probably over. So, let's go through the system. So we had Tau Seti. Um, Tau Seti had uh, a decent amount of, of uh, colony, um, some minerals around, but nothing too big. We had Bernard Star, which has a partially intact colony, uh, intact colony, and it's a jungle terrain planet, uh, with a breathable atmosphere. So we just have to remove the carbon dioxide of the atmosphere, and then it's fully breathable. So this is pretty much just instantly colonizable here. Um, I just have to remove uh point zero uh three four of that. So the bad thing is it's tightly locked, so max pops can be quite low. Um, and then we have another uh, possible colony location, a lot of minerals in general around these places as well as we've got some potential. Um, and we still need to survey all of these places. Um, in other news, we have Luton Star, which is pretty inspirable, but we've got quite a few minerals here. Uh, we have Sirius, which is pretty inhospitable with only one Venusian mountain planet. And then we have Sagittari, which just has a gas giant and a comet. So, overall, pretty good. Pretty much the same as what we got before. Everything seems good. We did get a little lucky in some places and a little less lucky in other places. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we're going to continue going ahead in time. Um, by the next, ep next episode, I plan to uh, have our ships, to, uh, our military ships designed to show you guys. Uh, and then I'll be talking through them since most people agreed that that would be the best way to do it. So, that's what I'm going to be doing with it. Okay, so uh, besides that, um, I also need to get some of the stuff underway because I never did this. I need to change that. Get the Ed Sid 65 and uh, let's do this mining properly. Yep, Earth. Okay. Um, and we also want to work on jump stabilization as quick as possible. So I'm going to remove laboratories from these and I'm going to go down to construction and production and I'm going to get us a jump stabilization module so we can start stabilizing and let's just keep going ahead in our time um we completed fire control speed very good and um survey group delta gravitational survey completed of loot and star very good and we're going to tell them to go through this jump point. Uh, so we're going to just keep exploration up. Um, let me turn on the display stuff really, really quick. Uh, all fleet locations uh, unexplored. Um, and then shipyard complexes. Uh, discovery day. There we go. So now you can see. So we've got these uh, planets or these systems with jump points that we can explore. Okay, uh, we discovered another system. Uh, got a gas giant, that's it. Okay, cool. So Delta needs to go back. Because uh, that's the only problem, is they keep coming back to this star, so... Um, I want you to go over here. No, I don't want you to go over there. What is this one called? A A X my coffee. There you go. Go over there. And just going to keep continuing. And we're just kind of looking here for more resources. But overall, I feel pretty happy with what we've got so far. Um, let's get that turret tracking, because I do want to get that turret tracking sorted out. Um, and we just complete production of the uh, outreach. Um, so we're going to get those moved over to um, the proper place. Uh, so we're going to grab our... Where is it? Napoleon, attach. We're going to go over here and we are going to tell them. Uh, track specified ship. 
Tractor to Saturn, please. Tractor. Unfortunately, there's no faster way to do this, which is really, really annoying. So we're just going to have to kind of go with this. Oh, sorry about that one second. Um, so now we need to go to the space station. Please on Saturn. And then space station. And we need to done. And then we feel from colony. And that'll be done in a month. Let's go to the new jump point. Okay, we got all of our sodium harvesters now doing stuff, so they should be uh mining appropriately yep we got all of our boys mining their resources which is really really nice so we're gonna have an annual production of oh let's get all these boys under the same one so that'll be 10 million liters of fuel every year being harvested uh and yeah uh, so that'll be done in a certain amount of time. So we need a tanker to get sorted out really at the end of the day. Um, so I'm gonna need to re uh, continue the capacity upgrade this to 30,000. And I'm also going to build another one of these. And, um, yeah, I've also I constructed some naval shipyards as well, and those will be for our ship designs. We're going to have a ship design at 15,000, one at 10,000, and one at 15,000, and then also a design at 3,000. I'm also going to increase the uh, slipway activity here, um, and we're just going to keep continuing time. So, the group Charlie just uh, finished up, and we're going to tell them to go to. Uh, no, not that one. Go to uh, what is the planet that we want? 61 Signy will work. Go to Dan and Transit Explore. Gravitational survey just completed. Um, in uh, there, so we need to send beta through to the export jump point. And uh, nitrogen methane planet, nothing too good. And we just go over the system of DX Canny, which has a liquid in nitrogen uh, oxygen atmosphere. A decent gravity, but not really anything too special there. Um, let's go with minerals. So if we beta is not able to carry out further orders. So if we bet, do you actually have something ordered for please other? Uh, I'm not sure why you don't have any standing orders properly set up there. Uh, we just complete continual capacity. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, so we have 5,000 now, so that's good. And finish replacement. And server group alpha now needs to go and find a new one. So this is just going to be continuous exploring. So obviously it's a little boring, just like finding new systems and doing things. Um, Obviously, the bigger we go out now, the higher risk for aliens there is. So that's that's going to be something quite interesting. Um, and, and, and. Boom. Did we just have them exceed deployment? So these two need to go back home. Go back home. Uh, four year deployment time, so we're going to tell them to overhaul. Um, and we're also going to tell them to go back to all and begin their overhauls. Um, and we're just trying to get more research right now, but we need to get that stabilization sorted out so that we can um, start designing our military, uh, our military but our, uh, this, uh, vessel so we can start exploring Bernard Star and exploiting it accordingly. Uh, space Station. Construction. I'm gonna need a hundred more construction factories, and then I'm gonna say hundred more. What else do we need? I think we need more research facilities, honestly. Um, Mars. 
Do you need more workers? Yeah, you have a lot. Uh, what's our mining situation on Earth looking like? We're going to deplete in 244 years. How many mines do we actually have? Uh, we have 220, so we actually could use some more mines. I'm going to put an order in for 200 mines. Uh, completed construction factories, and then we're just going to continue uh, going up here. Uh, server group complete. Charlie just completed. Um, and the transit, please do that. And uh, we just go with a new system. Ice sheet, nothing too impressive. And uh, we just can finish thermal sensors for that. Um, so we're going to grab for a thousand kilometers a second. And so the group Delta is enabled to complete. They're not quite done yet, but they will be soon. So we will tell them to continue their exploration. Um, there is no. How steady? Not star. Now we're just waiting for geological surveys to come in. Financial centers completed. Uh, good. So now we have mines coming in. Uh, let's also get those terraformers sorted out. Because uh, we're going to need to get them sorted out eventually. So, tractor specified. Uh, no, no, let's put tractor a shipyard. I want to tractor space station. Tractor in, in fleet. Don't release on Mars and then Earth. Refuel with the orders and uh, Mercury is now mining without load of chromium now for us, which is really, really nice. So, if we have a look at Earth, we should be getting, yeah, what we're going in now. Uh, Galasite's kind of an issue, so is uranium. So, we're going to get something about that with about Venus, maybe. Uh, Still, point one access that's so terrible. So, so bad. Um, yeah, we're going to start our terraforming of Mars because we need to get that terraformed up. Um, we're going to add our water vapor into the atmosphere. We're going to do 0.25 high gas to the atmosphere. We want the ice sheet to build and then we're going to melt the ice sheet. And German stabilization module just completed. So we're going to make a new ship design. We're going to call it uh, Braswell. It's going to be a jump stabilization vessel. Well, a station. Uh, no armor, conscript crew. Get rid of the fuel. And we are going to add in a jump stabilization module uh, for 180 days. And I'm going to start getting those constructed immediately. So. For the oh, we only need two, I think. I don't want to. I want to go too fast on the uh, on the colonization. Um, so I'm gonna down this. We don't need it too much. I'm gonna up this. Oh yeah, we should have our first one done by the end of the year. Five uh, facilities completed. Um, and I'm going to continue looking at research for this. Um, and uh, agility, please. Uh, the Churchill just completed her overhaul, so that should allow us to send her back into service. So, auto route to uh, Luton Star Standard Transit. Pegasus just completed her overhaul. I'm going to tell her to go back into service. I'm going to tell her to refuel and resupply, though. And then we're going to have her move to. Uh, more at this point. Think we want to go to another system, Sagittarius. Uh, I'm sure that system needs assistance with stuff. Um, was 780. 
nothing here. If you have a look at our galaxy map, it's starting to get pretty big. We've explored a lot of the galaxy right now. Um, we have this part, and we have this. Um, and in terms of colonization targets, we want we got Tau Ceti, and then we got Luton Star. So we want to get to Bernard Star, which is going to be two jumps away right now. But hopefully, like. If there's no jump points there, that's actually really good because it means it's very defensible. So that will be better versus alien targets. But we still need to uh send some voids over there. Uh so the mining colony was established. We complete continual capacity tasks, so we're gonna design our tanker and we're gonna uh, go over here, go to tanker, design and tanker. Uh, actually, I'm going to wait, and then I'm going to add in fuel capacity, 20, and then add our engines, uh, 9 engines, and then refueling system, thank you, miscellaneous. And then we want to add one, two, three, four, uh, ten, hundred, one million, and then that'll be good. We got our tanker complete, and that'll be used to transfer our resources uh, from uh, our fuel harvester mines. So we're going to assign our Rodney class to this, and uh, yeah, okay, Rodney class completed, and just going to continue advancing time accordingly. And we nearly have all the sensors that I want for my military ships, but not right now. So if I group Delta just completed, um, I'm going to tell them to refuel, resupply. And then I want you to head to um, this and then stand the transit through that. And we found a new system. It's got nothing in it, just a dual binary star system at 10 billion kilometers in range. Fire control range is completed. And I'm going to put the rest into getting us better construction technology. Uh, Mars, how's Mars environment looking? Uh, water vapor slowly being added into the atmosphere, and that's causing water to be available into the hydrosphere, which is very, very good. Um, no new terraformers were completed, of course. The first Braswell was completed, though, so what we're going to do is we're going to have our Napoleon go over here, and we're going to start stabilizing our first jump point. Uh, so let's track the space station. Braswell, we're going to tell it to go for the Tower Seti jump point, release, then come back here. And now we're going to go over here. I'm going to tell the bars well. Start stabilizing this jump point, please. There we go. Give it a new jump point. Slipway was added. Uh, I'm going to add another slipway. And then we're continuously upgrading our dockyards. Uh, active ground sensor strength completed. Um, I'm going to put one in just getting us better um, engine size because we're going to need that for bigger ships. And then we've got another Napoleon. Good. So I think Beta was unable to carry out certain tasks. So I'm going to go and make sure of a few things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the display. I'm going to say unexplored jump survey status. So we're going to need, yeah, we have a lot of places that we need so we can finish surveying. So go to Tau Ceti. Yeah, go to Tau Ceti, thank you. There we go. Uh, research laboratories, we need to sort our research out. Uh, construction and production. For the rest in construction and production there. Um, and we should be able to start stabilizing ourselves. Okay, we just finished deployment time. Yeah, our uh, survey fleet Delta and survey fleet uh, Charlie need to come back and finish their overhauls. So I'm going to tell them to refuel, resupply, then begin overhaul, and I'm going to tell them to stop, go to Seoul, 
New fuel over high, begin overhaul. And they will head back. So hopefully Charlie, yeah. Fuel resupply, begin your overhaul. I told you. Uh, sometimes these orders really hurt me. Fine. There we go. And we completed our capacity. Uh, Boswell, the second Boswell is constructed, so now we can move that accordingly. Uh, we're going to tell that one to uh, start stabilizing uh, to the next point. So we're going to tell Fleet, Space Station, and we're going to track the ship, and we're going to uh, tell them to go towards Luton Star. Um, and then we feel from here. I'm also going to get ready to design a jump tender, a decent sized jump tender. Uh, jump drive, we're going to want a commercial engine. And we're looking for size 100? Size something like that. Yeah, let's do like size 44. A little big. And that'll be good. We'll create that. We'll get that underway on research, and uh, yeah, uh, we are going to be looking at the next part and getting that jump drive put out. Okay, so um, we're pretty much there. We're gonna have some military dives by next episode. I'll be going over them in the next episode. Uh, oh, this episode, we kind of just continued our exploration, cleared up some things, continued our research, preparations for a few vessels, started our first jump stabilization. Um, so I hope you did enjoy. Um, meet you back next episode where we will be uh, having our military designed and stuff, or first ship's military design, hopefully colonizing Bernard Star um, in some, or at least Tower City, and uh, continuing extra galactic colonization. So far, we've, we've, we know of 13 systems, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, let me know what you think, um, and also um, if I missed anything or any problems, let me know. I hope you have enjoyed. Please stay safe, uh, get better, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.